You get invited to the pool. That's when you get invited to the pool. Thanks to our sponsor, your Metro Detroit Chevy Dealers. <laughs> Here to tell us what is going on this weekend is our very own gal about town, Kyla Peoples. Hello, Kyla. Good morning. You know what, Jason? What? That's a mess. <laughs> How is he going to say that she <laughs> has flip frilly and what Lacey thinks? Uh, What's he trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. I'm talking about like doilies on the table, you know? Absolutely. A doily? You Side have eye. plastic on your furniture, don't you? Absolutely <laughs> not. Who are you? Who, 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 and who do you think I am? Yo, I You're need, a germaphobe. I need, I need, yes, but oh, oh God. Okay, oh, like, what's going on this weekend? Oh, Just my gosh. Us. Well, for starters, you all can hang out with this dynamic duo. As you can see, they're having a good time, Tati and Jason, <laughs> this Friday at Skating with the Stars at Campus Marshes. This is the kickoff event to this weekend's Winter Blast Festival. It's going to be raising money for Figure Skating Detroit, a nonprofit that empowers local girls through ice skating and academic achievement. Um, skating around with Tati and Jason, of course. I am not I skating. I'm oh, not yes, skating. you are. Put the skates We're on. Not <laughs> Plus, no. you're going to be with Olympian Meryl Davis and our local four anchors, Evrod Kastney and Rhonda Walker. And also, the Detroit Youth Choir will be there performing, so it'll be really cool to skate around with them. Tickets start at $25, and that includes your skate rental. And we'd love to have you because we want to raise money yes. for the girls. I sit on the board of Figure Skating in Detroit, and it's a beautiful organization. That's all I'm going to say. We're How all does coming one get on the out. board of Figure Skating Detroit? How did you end up there? Figure Skating in Detroit? You know, I got people. I'm just you, kidding. You got no. connections? <laughs> they don't like, this girl wants to do something. Let's get her in here. And I was like, thank you so much for asking me. So come along and, and yeah. skate along because we're all going to be there, yeah. too, to support. So it's going to be great. There will also be an event honoring a Detroit music legend this weekend. Tell us about that. Well, you know, we lost, uh, unexpectedly lost songwriter Allie Willis this December, and there will be a tribute party for her in Eastern Market. There will be local artists singing her songs. There will be food, entertainment, and this is a cool thing. There are going to be uh, empty bowls painting workshop because she was very um, well known to be into that, uh, that uh, empty bowls. So the workshop uh, happens then, and actually it all happens Sunday from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. $20 donation goes to Empty Bowls Detroit in Allie's memory. Very That's really nice. nice. And then there's got, she's actually going to have one of her, um, her performers. His name is Apropos. He'll be uh, co-hosting as well. Oh, cool. All right, the Chinese New Year celebration is also continuing in the D. What is going on with this? Detroit's largest Lunar New Year party is called Over the Moon. They're going to have art installations, traditional New Year snacks, and live entertainment. This is happening Friday night, and it's a $10 cover at the Whiskey Factory outside of Eastern Market. Very nice. I love that this is like a like a month long thing. Yeah, I love it. It's great. That's very cool. So we know one of the best ways to spend the weekend is brunching, baby. And there's a lot of good places to brunch in Detroit, but there's an event happening that's all about brunch. So where should we be going? Well, you're gonna have to make room for pancakes and Bloody Marys because United We Brunch is happening at the Majestic. I've actually been to this event. It is phenomenal. This is Metro Times' take on the ultimate brunch. There's food from dozens of restaurants, breakfast cocktails, and uh, bowling at the Historical Garden Bowl. It's $30 for general admission, $50 for VIP, and tickets are selling fast. Um, I don't know if you all have, you've been there, I've right? I've been, yeah. It's, it's fun. It's crazy, but you get to try different restaurants that you might not have tried before, and it's just a good way to get about 30 or so restaurants. Yeah, and it's also Black History Month, and there's a cool event happening that's showcasing the beauty of black hair. What's going on? And excuse me. <laughs> it's Celebrate Black History Month at Hierarchy, and this is happening at Norwest Gallery of Art. See the beauty of black hair through various art exhibits, highlighting the black hair experience, different hair trends, history, and culture. This begins Saturday, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., and it continues through the entire month. It's so fun. It sounds like an amazing, there's so many levels and types of black hair, so this is going to be an opportunity for people to really go in and depth. learn. Yeah. Yeah, go in depth and learn and have an appreciation for all the different textures that are in that rainbow, yeah, which is not, great. It's not, you know, froze and, you know, right. curly hair, so. So, uh, John Jordan, what do you think of Kyla's pink top? Is that coincidence <laughs> that you have a bunch of pink over there today? No. 
No. Nothing's okay. ever a coincidence with me. Ow. <laughs> we have mind reading powers. <laughs> That's great. You can check out more of what's happening around the D by going to the website ChevyDetroit.com slash in dash D slash in dash the dash D. Well,